in today's video, we're going to take a look at how to create new users using the Windows command prompt and how to add those users to the administrators group. Now, the first thing you need to do, and we're going to take a look at a few more commands, right? So the first thing you need to do is open up the command prompt as an administrator. And now in order to add a new user, just type in the command net user and then mention the username. I'm going to say TNW. I'm going to give it a password, the network Viking, and I'm going to say, hey, go ahead and add this user, TNW, which has the password, the network Viking. Hit enter, say yes, and hit enter. That's it. We have added the user TNW. Now we want to make sure that TNW is actually a part of the administrators group. How do we go ahead and do that? So you type in the command net local group and then mention the group name. So if you want to add the user to any other group, you can use the same command. Now, in this case, I want to add it to the administrators group. So I'm going to say administrators and I want to say, hey, add TNW to this group or slash add and hit enter. There you go. Great. Now, in order to go ahead and verify that actually TNV has been created and it has been added to the administrators group, you, you can go ahead and run this command. All right. So the command would be net user and then mention the username, which is TNV in this case. I hit enter and you get all the information about the user from here. The username, the account related information, you get password related information at the groups that it's a part of. So a ton of information from here, quite a handy command. Make sure you make a note of this command. Let me just go ahead and clear the screen. If you want to get information about all the other users that have been created on this on this PC, go ahead and run this command, net user. So right now you see all these all these users in here, right? ABC administrator, default account, and all the other users. Now, if I want to go ahead and create a new user, I can do the same thing just to show you and verify the same thing. X, Y, Z, and then we mentioned the password. Cisco123, for example. And then we go ahead and say, hey, go ahead and add this user. Now, the username XYZ should also pop up in this list once we run the command net user. And we got XYZ right here, right? So we're looking good. So let me just go ahead and clear the screen. Now, if you want to change the password, let's say you can say net user and say XYZ or ABC or whatever, right? So you can say the network and that's it. That should be fine. Uh-huh. And that makes it change the password for XYZ. Now you see that I did not mention ADD in here, right? I did not mention that. So that's pretty much it. So this way you can go ahead and change the password for any user. In this case, I changed it for XYZ. Now you can go ahead and delete this user as well if you want. So again, the same command, it would be now user and say XYZ forward slash delete that's it so xyz is deleted and you can go ahead and okay let's go ahead and delete abc as well and let's say delete hit enter and let's verify the same now user we don't have those users in there anymore i can go ahead and delete any of the other users so, so let's go ahead and delete tnw as well right so tnw just to i don't know tnw right Hit enter and that user hit enter and you don't have TNV in there anymore. So we're looking good with all these commands. Let me go ahead and clear the screen. All right, good. All right, so in order to view the group memberships, you can go ahead and run the command net local group and then mention the group name administrators and hit enter. So with this command, you'll get to know, hey, what are the members of this specific group? So you find it right here. We got three users, three members of this group, administrator, Fa'ad, and the Network Viking. So if you want to check out the members of any other group, just you know mention the group name right here in this command, and you'll get all the details uh, right here. So now let me show you how you go ahead and activate or deactivate an account so if you remember from this command so let me just go ahead and quickly create a tnv again and the network so just let's just mention this much and say add hit enter so we got the tnv user account created again now if i go ahead and run this command tnv you find that tnv is actually active right now Active account, 
yes. So if I want to go ahead and deactivate TNW, what can I do? I'm going to execute this command and that user, I'm going to say TNW. Now in this case, I'm going to say active and then say no. Hit enter. That's it. So if I do net user TNW again, I should find that the account is not active anymore, right? In order to reactivate the account, you can just go ahead and run the same command and say yes, and then run this command again just to check it out, and you find that the account is active again. So we're looking good here as well. Now let me just go ahead and show you how you can change the user account name itself. All right, so now we know that the user TNV is created as well, so we can just verify that. I'm going to rename TNV to TNV01, for example, right? So how do I do that? I'm going to do that using the WMIC command. I'm going to say user account, where I'm going to say name equals to TNV, which is the old name. Hey, I want to rename it to what? To TNV01. Hit enter. And there you go, method execution successful. I can verify the same by running the same old command, net user, hit enter, and there you go. We don't have TNV anymore, we have TNV01. Let's take a look at a couple more commands and then we're gonna wrap it up. All right, so we don't want the password to be required for the TNV01 account. So what we do in that case is, so we say user, ah, we say net user, Say net user and then mention the username tnv01 and we're going to say password rec as in required. Hey, no, we don't want that. Hit enter and then say net user and then mention 01. Hit enter and there you go. Password required. No, if you want to reverse it now, just mention yes. Hit enter and then this again and there you go. Password required. Yes. All right. Hit enter. All right. So let's say I don't want a user to be able to change its password. Now, again, I'm going to use the same command. I'm going to say net user. I'm going to say TNW01. In this case, it's going to be password and then CAG and then mention, hey, the user should not be able to change the password. And I'm going to use the same command now net user and then say TNW01. Hit enter. And there you go, user may change password, no. What if I wanna reverse it now? So say yes, that's it. And let's verify, we know how to verify things now. So user may change password, yes, we're looking good there as well. All right, so if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. If there's anything else you want me to cover, please do let me know in the comment section. Your comments really help a lot. Subscribe, please share it with others as well. Like as well, and uh, thank you so much. You guys have a great time ahead. Goodbye.